music going. Hey Ninji, how's it going? Alright, we got that. Now let's also... Let's grab my tablet. Just woke up, gonna start your day? Yeah. I hope you have a wonderful start to a even more wonderful day. Uh, just a little earlier today, in fact, I finished the line art for the first frame here. I figure it's gonna be easier if I try and uh, go line art, line art, line art, line art, line art, color, 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 color. Shading and rendering, blah, 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 that sort of dealy. So uh, we'll see how that works out for me. Fortunately, this is going to be one of the smallest drawings on this, so I can afford to have it be a little less distinct. Do you have anything special planned for yourself today? Hey, Nacion, how's it going? Hope you are having a wonderful day. Mirabelle really has more of like looser defined curls, more of a wave than anything. So since this is going to be super deformed version, we can afford to be a little less defined. Kinda sorta, it's like you're finally getting a wheelchair. Hey, that's pretty good. I hope it's a really cool wheelchair that's super comfy and has, like, sick-ass rims and underlighting. Ooh, that sounds pretty cool. Carbon fiber. 
from what I know of, is a cool material. Or it sounds very cool from everything I've heard about it, which admittedly is very little, but it does sound very cool. Okay, so they all kind of crawl to the right. I'm also kind of excited for this project because, like, in all of my time doing TF artist art, I don't think I've ever once done a like a femme to mask sort of look. So it's going to be an interesting challenge for me, kind of working backwards from where I would normally go. Your adorable, peculiar. Oh, well, thank you. You didn't have to come over just for that, but I, I appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful day, Sir Bubble Buns. <laughs> I'm using the uh, the new mic you got me, actually. Thank you again. That was stupidly generous, but I uh, I greatly appreciate it. Came in just to hear you humming. Oh, it seems like a silly reason to come in, but I appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you. I, I try my best to, to live up to that kind of expectation. And I, I like to think I at least sometimes can succeed. <laughs> I don't know if you're familiar with it, but uh, today we're also doing art, like uh, like Geronimo. So uh, our art is uh, transformation artwork. <laughs> Just be yourself, you're a kind soul, and that's all. Oh, thank you. I, I appreciate it. I'm not very good at thinking of myself in fair perspectives, so sometimes it's nice just to have people say that sort of thing. So yeah, to celebrate, if uh, if anyone here hasn't heard the story behind this art piece yet, uh, a friend of mine, who currently still goes by Maribel Bramble, this sort of hobbit VTuber, uh, they are rebranding to a new model, very different look, and uh, also using that as uh, a way to more publicly be more comfortable with, like, uh, a masculine-leaning non-binary appearance and presentation. And so, since I got my start doing TF art, and uh, I wanted to celebrate both the coming out of it and the rebranding, I thought, hey, I can draw this. I can draw it one your one model turning into your other model that'll be fun it's been too long since i've been since i've done uh artwork like this 
Alexandra, how are you doing today? How is my favorite trans interviewer who also interviews the transes? doing okay kind of groggy after a busy day yesterday oh what were you up to yesterday going to focus on just uh, doing the line art here, but where I get opportunities to do a little more than that, just to reward myself, since otherwise I'm just going to be doing the same thing over and over for this part of the project. I figure I might as well. You helped your mom pack some stuff up and prep for a fumigation and did a doctor's visit? Ooh. That sounds like a very busy day, but a very important kind of busy day, so I applaud you. You have, you have earned the title of a very good girl today, and I hope you're treating yourself as such, otherwise I'll have to have words with your manager. You're welcome. <laughs> So what are you going to do today? Do 
joining a new Minecraft server. Ooh, what's the Minecraft server gonna be like? Not sure if it's going to be a new experience. Your friend has been apart for several seasons, so hopefully fun. Is it like another modded server? Or is it going to try and be like vanilla? Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's gonna be modded. I'm unsure unsure of the mods in it though. I just downloaded the pack and hope to not get too lost. Mm. Yeah, I, I feel you there. I was never very good at understanding any of the mods that I used. Or honestly, how to even use mods. I think when the mod, like, organizer that I was using went under, I just completely abandoned doing Minecraft modded at all. Because it's like, okay, well, I'm never going to be able to figure this out on my own, so not going to even bother. It's true, though. Like, I am not good at figuring out computer stuff at all. It's honestly a miracle that I'm working in any kind of, like, tech-adjacent field. <laughs> You know, honestly, one of the things that's definitely going to help motivate me as I go through this whole project is going to be remembering how, after I do all of this, I'm going to be able to draw a dragon deck. And I don't know why, but something about that, something about that motivates me. And I'm not going to question that. Oh, thank you for the save, Heavy. Also, hello, Heavy. It's totally fair if it doesn't work for me first try, I usually just drop it. Ah, story of my life, yeah. I sure do love being a perfectionist. It's... the best. <laughs> Hmm, not sure why the uh, little camera icon is still there. Eh, it'll probably go away eventually. Not here, I'm at work. Look heavy. I honestly don't care, but, like, I don't know you outside of the internet. I have no investment from the way you've described your co-workers and your bosses. I have no investment in holding you accountable to them, so, like, 
I really don't care. <laughs> I promise. All right, you do you, champ. I mean, if it's, a, like, there are some cupcakes that are designed to be heated up. Like, I've heard of cupcake uh, cupcake lava cakes, and that would make sense for that. But, like, usually it's pretty clear what they are. There we go. All right, let's see what we got here. Mm, now this is gonna take a little bit more.
Dragon Soul, how's it going? Hope you're having a good one. Sadly, oh, well, I I won't ask any questions. But I hope that I can make it at least a little bit better. A little more bearable, anyway. I'll do my best. condolences still and uh, I'm sure that they were very appreciative of you being there so I'm sure you made them very happy
Okay, if you say so. Of course, this being a hobbit, I have to make sure I give Maribel some big ol' feet. So, uh, if, if you're a part of Foot Gang in chat, here's a little treat for you, I guess. I don't- I don't think I really have anyone who's like a member of Foot Gang in chat, though. I know that a lot of y'all are Team Armpit for some reason, but... I don't think I've ever seen someone make a big deal about footsies in chat. Yep. Thank you for- thank you for demonstrating. I'll take pobs over pits. Alright, well, uh, here I'm- I'm drawing some low-res hobbit pobs. Hope you enjoy. I feel like hobbits would have toe beans, you know? I don't know why, they just strike me as the sort of entities that would. thing I will say for for Jolkin Rolkin Rolkin Tolkien I do appreciate that he normalized the idea of women with hairy feet it's like one less thing to feel slightly self-conscious about in this very niche subculture <laughs> as a trans woman He didn't- he may have not been aware that he was writing gay characters and denied that, but... Oh dang, if at the very least he didn't normalize foot hair, I guess. We have all of the line art for this stuff. <laughs> I'll think. Oh, I'll, I'll I'll try. And yeah, fuzzy little feet. <laughs> all right, let's see. Okay, so I need to merge oh, I need to merge these layers now. Mm. Normalized hair on people's body. Yes. Uh oh. I am... I am nervous about that bubble bun. <laughs> what is it you're planning here? But yeah, I, I agree, Alexandra. That's definitely one of those, like, hand-clasping memes of, like, Latin people, Mediterranean people, having a ton of body hair. <laughs> Mm. 
Just spot an epilator to save time on shaving. Ooh, I remember that hurt a lot when I used it. But... Mm. Bubble bun. Is there something that you wanted to tell me? So we got this. Is is there something you need to tell me, Bubble Bun? Should I should I be worried that I'm going to be flabbergasted by something soon? I'm like mentally going through my list of things that are on throne to try and figure out like okay, what what would be what would be something that I would be like really flabbergasted if someone got because that just feels like it's your thing now <laughs> bubble bun is there something you want to tell me Oh my gosh. Thank you very much for the his uh, external hard drive. I... Thank you, that is, again, incredibly generous. <laughs> I think I might have. I think I might have gotten a. Uh, God damn it! I, I think I might have gotten hard drive taken care of somewhere else. But it's always good to have a backup to the backup. And again, thank you so much. This is stupidly generous of you. I am not opposed to having a glucose guardian. But still, this is a little silly, you goofus. You absolute goober. You keep this up, Sir Bubble Buns, and we're gonna be real China, you know that? I bet you're having a bubble about this, ain't you? Goober, parentheses, endearing. But seriously, thank you so, so much. Uh, and if you keep this up, we will end up being China. And at the very least, you, I'll consider you my China. Sorry, I, I listened to a podcast episode about Cockney rhyming slang right before starting stream. So now that's where my head is. And obviously I can't do a Cockney accent. The best I can do is maybe like, I don't know, uh, a chimney sweep from Mary Poppins. I'll be your shine. Wow. Excellent. Just is, is this going to have to be something that I mentally prepare for every time I see you, that you're going to have a little bubble to yourself whenever you show up on stream because you're going to be paying for some absurd gift? Are you having a, are you having a bubble, China? Okay, all right. Right, because if I expect it every time, then it's going to be... It's not going to be that huge shock that you want, huh? I should have known.
Look, I greatly appreciate it. So I'm not gonna say no, because it it does really help, actually. I, uh... I am in a very fortunate position that I'm able to not have to stream for a livelihood, but at the same time, it, it does also help a lot. Now for these in-betweens, I'm gonna have to figure out what I want to do with the clothing, because I have to get from this outfit to this outfit. I have to do that in four steps total. Hmm. Well, I can start by splitting the skirt of the dress and have that... Excuse you, camera. I am still right here. I know that you can see me. So I can have this, the skirt part of the dress split apart and start to form into, like, pant legs. Although those are really more boots than pants. He, I think he's wearing tights underneath that? I guess I could have the shoes, like, shoe fabric starting to form underneath the feet at this point and have that merge with the skirt. That would probably work pretty well. This can pretty easily one-to-one -one be turned into this part of the tights. Um, let's see, I might be able to take these parts of the dress, kind of extend, split, lengthen to make the, I don't know what you call this part of like a coat. We got this collar and that collar, so we can do that. Maybe, like, split up the central part of the top to give it that nice tit window. Okay. I'm not really sure when I'm going to add the jewelry, but uh, we'll figure that out. For now, let's start just by getting some of the basics down here. Right. I don't know what we rawin', rawin' about, but right. So the first step, I think, is mostly just going to be reshaping of clothes, not so much recoloring. That'll come a little later on. Hey, hey, camera, I'm right here, you know this. I, like, need to move my monitor back in order for it to see me. Okay, hopefully that will be enough. Oh, one thing I know is going to stay the same throughout is the actual teacup. So we can start there. Uh, if we have any particular, like, uh, partic particular 
kinksters or effect fans in the audience. I don't think anyone has ever called them effect fans, so I guess that's a new term I'm making up. Uh, if there's any in the audience, tell me, what are your favorite kinds of transformations? And if you aren't a fan of them, I don't know, just think about shit in, like, movies you saw. Disney does a lot of this shit. And I'm sure you can think of something. I've always been partial to the gender because, you know, gestures at body. Return someone tried to make copies on the copy machine but the machine had no paper and it wasn't plugged in either. Yeah, there's your problem. Oh, uh, not transfers. Transformation. I don't know, I've just always been a big fan of transformation stuff. It's a fairly niche kind of dealio, though, so... If you don't have one, instead, you can answer the question, what's your favorite way to eat potatoes? Captions being stupid, gender goo plush micro macro. Ah, nice, 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 nice. Yep, I am a, I'm big, I'm big same with gender. This is, you, you've come to the right place if you're a fan of size differences, because uh, in this one, we're going up by 12 feet. And I like to think this is a pretty, a pretty big difference for this. We'll see how well it translates to my artwork, but that's the hope at least. Nullification too? Yeah, I'd say that counts. Transforming from like a thing to not a thing, even if not a thing is also just literally nothing, that's still something. Like my potatoes mashed or as french fries. Solid options, solid options. I've found myself taking a shining to uh, potatoes as a part of, as like a starch base for something like curry or Shepherds, pies, that sort of deal. I like my potatoes on someone else's plate. Uh, understandable, and I'm sorry for your loss. Boop, 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 boop. 
Exception is sweet potatoes, and I like them julienne or steak fries. Mm. Sweet potatoes were something that I think really had to grow on me. Because, like, as a child, I wasn't really willing to give sweet potatoes a shot, which is... It was pretty dumb of me. Because sweet potatoes, good. Sweet potatoes, very good. Beet chips and beet fries are awesome, though. I don't think I've ever had beet, or at the very least, not in that context. I've probably had beets as like an ingredient in something, but I can't really recall off the top of my head what they taste like. My brain is thinking of, oh yeah, you've had those, but then I have to remind myself, no, turnips and beets aren't the same thing, brain. Getting gas and heading home. All right. This time, dear, I actually, you know what? I'm going to double check right now because now I'm gaslighting myself, but. Okay, yes, I I double confirmed. Other than the box that has your custom Yowie paddle, uh, I have cleaned out all of the boxes from around the kitchen table area. I don't wanna go furniture shopping today, but that's probably not gonna happen. Uh, well, I, I will support you either way. Dear, you are in a fraternity. It's okay. We're not going to- I'm not going to judge you or whatever weird sex things you got up to in your fraternity days. I'm thirsty, but I'm too lazy to walk downstairs to get water. Uh... I- I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, is there like an upstairs bathroom? I've drunk from the faucet plenty of times before, and it usually works out pretty well for me. Oh no. <laughs> uh, do- are you in an office chair that has, like, rolly wheels? Maybe you could just, like, not get out of the chair and still go get it? Hey! 
Hey, that's not a very nice thing to say about the waiter. It's a gaming chair, so no rollies. Wow, I, I can't believe the gamers are so disenfranchised as their chairs don't even have rollies. You hate to see it, you really do. I think also we're gonna have to move this arm a little closer. Oh, I, I understand, Nausean. I just like... I just like making fun of the idea of it. Between, like, dumbwaiters and lazy Susans, it's weird how much, like, labor saver stuff is kind of throwing shade at you for using it. It's like, oh, you need the dumbwaiter? Do more arms first. Probably could and should. I know that uh, when I talk. When I talked with Maris about his rebranding, one of the reasons why he wanted to was like he's he's not he's not like oh he's not a super horny guy, but he's he's like not say so. And like ow. Hey Delandow. And like he was kind of sick of people seeing only like this this cutesy little halfling and thinking oh oh they're so pure they might they would never want to talk about any of this stuff i was like no no i i do i do so that's one of the reasons i remember him giving for rebranding as the dragon daddy also hello delando how are you doing today Let's pivot a little bit and have the hands kind of be like angled inward instead. But I'm sort of going to be playing into the like, oh, oh, the chaste demure kind of angle for this just for funsies. This music is putting you to sleep. It's very peaceful. Oh, uh, you're, you're welcome, I guess. Uh, it'll probably not last too much longer, though. This is like two hours of music. Hmm? Well, at least your apps will be up to date, right? That's something good.
Hey, Delandal, do you want to know a fun fact about, uh, about that emote you've been using? So, uh, you know the Elton John song, Someone Saved My Life Tonight? Uh, in that song, in the, in, you know, Someone Saved My Life Tonight, one of the people that he's talking about, uh, the guy that he refers to as Sugar Bear, one, you know, one of the people who are, like, talking him out of attempting suicide. Uh, the person he's referring to, Sugar Bear, is the name he, the nickname he's using for the musician Long John Baldry. And uh, Long John Baldry, in addition to being, like, a very accomplished blues vocalist and musician he was also the voice of Dr. Ivo Robotnik in the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog specifically in the version referenced in Delandau's emote so every time you see that weird little guy that weird little nasty Sonic the Hedgehog, the cartoon Dr. Robotnik, every time you hear one of those YouTube poops that like mash up his voice to say something like Pingus or whatever, that's the voice of the man who saved Elton John's life. <laughs> and I just think that is one of the wildest facts about, uh, about Sonic the Hedgehog. And if I have been blessed with that knowledge, I want to make sure that you are too. Mm-hmm. Dr. Ivo Pingus Robotnik himself, that's the man who saved Elton John's life. This arm still feel too long.
So thankfully the ears are pretty similar in terms of overall shape, so I don't have to change them very much as the process goes. <sighs> this is going to have to be the step where the horns start growing. Well, let's see. I don't think we have to form the eye, the, the third eye on the cheek just yet. Uh, the hair. So how are we going to do the hair transition? Hmm. I think it would probably be easiest to have it shrinking rather than, like, um, shedding. Plus, I think that's just more visually appealing. Uh, we can keep this bit and sort of have it, like, shorten up. We can have another one on the other side do the same. And the bangs are going to have to kind of, like, merge together a little bit for that one central forelock. Hmm. At some point, some of the hair is going to have to get in front, so I'll be able to make these. But all in all, it should be fairly doable. Hmm. That's layer three. I do not remember. Maybe I just do sort of like the the cartoon simplified eyes. Have an itch? Mind if I borrow your antlers for a sec? Where is the itch? Because depending on your answer to that, it will decide uh, A, if you can, and B, if I'm going to have to charge you. will allow it. No, I, I feel like you've kind of earned a free pass on a lot of this stuff, uh, Sir Bubble Buns. This is my birth month, though, now that I think of it, so, like, I guess it wouldn't be too untoward of me to, like, start considering asking for some of the stuff on Throne. Mm, I don't know. Honestly, not sure where I would even start with, like, the stuff on there, though. My gosh. 
Well, I mean, thank you regardless, since I cannot stop you either way. It's your money. You're allowed to do with it what you want. You know what, let's put one little, like, dot over here, where there will eventually form that third eye. Yeah, that works. I'll have to also update my throne. Make sure everything there is still up to date with the stuff that I want and or need. Hey Corky, it's going pretty well. We, uh, we did the line art for the, the trigger panel and the first panel of the sequence. Now we're working on the second panel where things are going to start getting a little weird in terms of uh, what I'm going to actually be drawing. <laughs> Try my best. So the top is still largely going to be fairly similar ish. I'll probably turn the collar, I think, into the lapels. That would make sense. And the sleeves can probably retreat up since they're virtually not there on the final, at the final look. So maybe like start them over there-ish. This part of the TF sequence is particularly hard, the intermediary steps, because you don't really know, there's no reference picture for it. You just kind of have to eyeball and think, okay, how many different parts of this drawing need to change by the ending. And then, okay, so at what point is XYZ going to have to change into ABC? How, how is this going to happen? Oh, hello, Todra. The boy has decided to join me. We might even leave the sleeves fairly long for this first bit. Yes, son? Can I help you? I love you. Ah! 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 <laughs> well, thank you for the headbutt. I love you too, baby boy. I would headbutt you, but then I would push you off the, ch off the chair because I am much bigger than you. <laughs> thank you for the headbutt again. You really want to spread your scent around today, huh? Mm 
Burb 13, Noun 33. Hmm? What do you mean? This is a very long section. Just gonna skip ahead a little bit. Oh, yes. Hello, I love you too, Totoro. Are you are you gonna allow mommy to work? <laughs> okay, I'll give you that hand. How about that? Huh? Is this what you wanted? No, you take those paws off that desk, young man. You know that's the one rule. I've told you time and time again. Walk on me if you like, but do not walk on the desk. Disky commands for old-timey NASA shuttles. Oh, that's pretty cool. Where'd you find them? Hey, you take that paw off. No, I said take that paw off. I love you, baby boy, but you can't purr your way out of listening to your mother. Too, baby boy. The boy, the boy's son has departed for now. Part of research. Mm -hmm. I pride myself in drawing things that are adorable. Hmm. 
no thank you. I'll take it. Oh wait, this is the wrong layer now, isn't it? Well, thank you. I'll, I'll take that. Uh, it works by having a verb number and a noun number. Verb is the action, and a uh, noun is what the action is being performed on. So it's important to know to make it work the way it was designed. Okay, I, I think I understand that. So, like... So, like, something like turn to thruster would be like turning the thruster I don't know, two degrees stuff like that that's pretty cool very easy to understand too that's always nice Can you take two band-aid and put them on the kitchen table? Sure. I'll be right back, chat.
and I'm back. Kinda more complex functions. It's more like a sophisticated calculator that had the power of like a PDP. No? Don't know if I understand that. Oh, okay. Alright, well, I guess I can use the same layer, too. Not ideal. But I'd rather not have to redraw every single thing that I just drew. I feel silly now. I'm so sorry that I'm encroaching like this, Corky. I'm afraid there may be uh, another new clown in town. Oh no! I can't do that. I can't let you do that, though. Hobo clowns haven't been culturally relevant in ages. Or rather, mainstream in ages. I feel like they're still relevant one way or another. But... Oh, 
thought about getting a hobo clown model this year, but planning stuff for Gen Con has left money tight. Mm -hmm. What's Gen Con again? Okay, I, uh, I have a rough concept, but I really don't remember any of the details. like there's too much of a loop here, so I'm going to switch over to a different. Oh, I see. Are you going there as a, uh, as just an attendee, or is this, like, big official business clown stuff? To be fair, though, I guess all clown, like all businessmen are inherent, all business people, I should say, are inherently clowns. So that's a bit of a overstatement. Bullying so many friends into going to. So, what exactly do you do at the convention? Like, I assume that a lot of companies use it as kind of like a trade show to try and like get investors or hype up projects, stuff like that. Here banging. I need to see what Totoro is doing. Totoro. Is there anything that you're particularly excited to see at the con? to see anything new by Paizo, and I want to meet the people that make cyberpunk. I'm glad that cyberpunk is making something of a renaissance, but at the same time, I do kind of also wish that, like, it was, uh, a little more culturally aware, since that's really the main point of punk. You're not engaging meaningfully in the commentary, 
and really thinking critically about what it's talking about. Are you really punk? I would say no. Punk's about making you think about stuff. Get you to feel things. Want to do stuff to make the world better. You look chipper. <laughs> you had an okay day at work, I hope. Uh, you know what? Thank you for doing your thing. We still need to fix this stuff. We can now move the table into a seat. I'm gonna go to sleep. Alright, you want me to wake you up? Eventually. Uh, when is eventually? Epitome is back and he says hi. Uh, let's see, you're familiar with Commodore, right? Yeah, like a, a Commodore 64. I'm, I'm familiar. Artellerician? What's that? I'd say some of the suggested ventures allow for making the world a better place. It's just that red taking place before 2077 feels kind of weird for doing anything cool. Really? If anything, I feel like dissociating from the uh, from the main video game entries timelines would be better because then you're not bound by all of the goofy shit that ends up happening, right? You can just make your own canon and sort of be like, okay, well, uh, that was, in retrospect, the stuff that happened in that game, kind of a mistake. Let's just ignore that and do something else. Exactly. That's why I think that 2077 should be considered a, a Gaiden game, you know what I mean? Also, hello, hello, Thomas. How's it going? Hope you're having a good one today. of the author, and when death of the author won't do, murder of the author. I am forcefully disconnecting you from what you have created. I am the captain now of this ship. This is, this is a mutiny of the author. <laughs> That only really works if it's something dissolute, though. Don't bother trying to apply that to shit like, uh, Joel, uh, uh, Joan, uh, Cone Roan. There we go. I like Mike Bonsmith too much to kill him, though. Okay. You don't have to kill him. It's just he's not in charge anymore. You are. You get to decide where this ship goes. It is yours now. Be the nasty crime gay that you want to see in the world. Always make sure, chat, that you're drawing on proper layers, otherwise you'll be like me, having to erase the sketch off the sketch layer because I accidentally started doing the line art layer on the same layer.
Thank you, Kel. You'll have to tell me about all the new games coming out, though. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to uh, Gen Con. And I'm always... Well, I wouldn't say always, but I'm... Since I'm trying to pivot more into being about tabletop stuff, since since it's a passion, I, I'd love to be able to, like, get a better sense of what's going on in the industry and stuff. I'm sure I'll try to post pics. Awesome, sounds good. I've decided to just mentally live in a world where Cyberpunk 2077 doesn't exist, and I gotta be honest, I'm feeling way happier for it. I highly recommend it. I have not. Also, uh, what kind of games are you thinking about trying to trying to play, Sir Bubble Bunts? Maybe I can uh, try and provide some ideas. Dang it, no, I don't want this on step two. I want this on layer two. There, now I can't draw on it. Lasta is fun. I wish I could just make. I wish I could just make the graphics better with magic. The hair looks so bad. Celesta is a D and oh, like a D and D com like video game, computer game kind of deal. You mean? Oh, let's see. What games are you considering, though? If uh, if you're still looking for advice on that. Uses the SRD rule set, and you can make custom dungeons and stuff. That's pretty neat. I imagine it came out a while ago, though, if its graphics are as bad as you're talking about. I always feel like I'm such a video game snob. I don't like playing games that aren't pretty. And, like, to be clear, when I say games that aren't pretty, I don't mean games that aren't, like, high-fidelity, super cutting-edge graphics. No, no, what I mean is games that don't have good aesthetic and design. A game can be, like, 
8-bit or even, well, 16-bit or even 8-bit and still have really solid aesthetics and that will be enough to make me happy. But it's gotta at least do that. There are some games that age visually fantastically and others that age like dirt. Well, not dirt. Uh, age like stale milk. There we go. And it's because some games know how to design well. It's one of the reasons also why I usually prefer 2D games over 3D. I feel like, in general, a lot of them age better because, like, it's hard to improve on 2D graphics. At least outside of just, like, new generations having more pixels that they can have. They're still working on it, to be honest. It's a top-down game, so it isn't great with graphics. Um, let's see. I don't like playing games that don't let me make my characters the hottest people in the world. Valid! I think the games trying for an older 3D aesthetic work very well, too. Agreed. Honestly, though, I, I kind of like faux low fidelity 3d better than actual low fidelity 3d <laughs> like i i don't know why i just feel like there's something in having the ability to give something more polygons and shit and choosing actively to do lower poly stuff for the sake of being able to have that it feels like there, there's more that you can do when it's done deliberately, I guess. Exactly, exactly. I really need to find more art buddies that I can do shit with because I really like doing art streams, but it also ends up feeling really lonely if there's not like convo, you know? I need the banter, the back and forth. Let's see, uh, does he have any kind of necklace? Not really. I guess I could turn this into this if I'm turning the other things into the lapel. I know! And I... <laughs> no, I, I'm not saying that y'all aren't very good for this. Y'all are. I'm just saying that, you know, like, sometimes you have streams that are off days and, like, no one shows up or no one, like, wants to interact and that's when it gets lonely don't get me wrong lurkers are incredibly important but sometimes it still feels just a little a little lonely that's all i'm still getting better at doing at being able to be lonely on stream but y'all are doing an excellent job right now i want to make that clear So this is going to have to turn into something pretty low cut. You're a proper China, so bubble buns, don't you worry. You're a proper China. Whenever you're around, I can take a butcher at the at the chat and know that I got some proper China in here.
But yeah, but like you have the advantage of you don't need to pretend. There is, there are gnomes watching you. Oh, thank you. I try. yourself some options there. choice between Mass Effect Andromeda or Sirius Sam. Hmm. Do you have a Silly Steven, though? The rival game to Sirius Sam. I was always more of a fan of Silly Steven than Serious Sam, personally. But it's not an everyone kind of uh, feeling, I'm sure. Oh, no, 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 not Silly Sam. Uh, Silly Steven. That's my parody Serious Sam game. If there is a Silly Steven game, then I, I would love to see it, but as far as I know, I at least I made that up. As far as I know. Duke Nukem is basically Silly Steven. I guess. I feel like Duke Nukem would be the family guy of Silly Stevens. Because, like, yeah, you can get some cheap potty humor and cultural references and, like, a, a cheap laugh out of it, but it's, like, it's not particularly good, in it? It's like, uh, it's like the McDonald's. You know what you're getting? It's not gonna be great, but it's gonna be filling. It's gonna be meat and bread and cheese and stuff, you know? I, okay, that one was on purpose. I will, I, I will admit, I'll own up to that.
fucking restaurant has been going downhill since the clown went into witness protection. Oh, I, I have not heard that take before, but I am very glad that you have shared it with me. I think it's time. I'm gonna start playing? He saw what Grimace did. Thank you so much. Oh. oh my god. Bubble buns! What are you doing? Oh my god. Thank you very much for the tier 3 subscription. That is absurdly generous. I hope you enjoy the limited edition tier 3 emote at least. It's like the free emote, but better. Very based and fun build. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you, though. That That is very generous of you. I'm gonna have to try and do some kind of uh, donathon one of these days so I can save up uh, so I can save up enough months to oh, uh, so I can save up enough months through like subs to get more emotes although honestly it is definitely better ways that I could like get dosh out of this like I could just just I could just like uh, do stream loots or something like that and honestly I probably should I should try and get into stream loots one of these days I can never figure out how to do it just so like when people decide to be stupidly generous like this thank you again I'm able to do it in a way that's like not as just serving big Bezos or whatever. Because I, I feel fairly confident that I'm probably not ever going to hit Twitch partner. If I do, cool, that'd be awesome. If I don't, that's kind of what I was expecting, so that's okay. I have to wait for him here, so I had to do it. Oh, again, thank you. Okay. this song cosmic garden uh garden yeah never heard of that one okay. 
Okay, time to split this heart.
too much of that. I'll try and reduce the, the frilly lace bits now so it'll be easier to get rid of them all together later on. Or like, yeah, they're thigh length boots, so I'll have to do, I feel like the split probably will come around about here, I think.
I think if I can get the line art for this. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Ah. <laughs> it's very nice to meet you, Dip. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> It's gonna be like this for a while. <laughs> How's it going, though? Thanks for the biddies. I was saying it's very nice to meet you. If you get an animation that drops them on your head from inside a box, and then drops the box on my head. Hmm. That might be a little hard to make in, uh, as an animation, and also have it be, like, reactive. But I'm sure it could probably be done by someone. Probably not by me, because I don't really know how I would. But I'm sure it could be done. So what's up? Nice to meet ya. I know he's got like thingies on his horns, but it doesn't really look like he's got much else in the way of head decorations. It might be a little difficult to get rid of the hat. I guess I could just have the hat fall off. have it like falling off here. Especially considering how big of a size difference that's already gonna be. Oh no, 
you're rolling? You should be careful about rolling, 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 rolling. Uh, I can't blame you there. You've shown that to be pretty true already. This is supposed to be like the underside of Maribel's fascinator, because it just kind of like falls off. I try to make a habit of remembering every single person who hangs out in here, if they want to be known, if they do not wish to be perceived and just want to lurk. That's okay, too. But needless to say, even without that, you've done... Uh, Quite a lot for first and second impressions. Well, you've been great conversation, so I more than welcome this. not always easy to acknowledge the good qualities of ourselves, so I try and help out where I can. that you had lore. Shinny, how's it going? Let me give you a shout out. Ah, playing some fire. I'm How's it going? If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Beatrix Bunny. I'm a taxidermy jackalope brought to life by the power of love and slightly mad science. 
I do variety streams here with a focus on roguelikes, digital artwork, and tabletop RPGs, so if you're interested in any of that, then I hope you'll stick around. How was your stream, Shinny? What were you up to? Also, I'm joined here by my co-host and channel mascot, Francisco. Francisco, would you like to say hi to the kids? We still need to do this section. Oh, I wonder my audio balancing was out of whack on my end. Headphones are misadjusted. It was good. Really enjoying going back to Fire Emblem Awakening. Made decent progress. First four chapters plus prologue and paralogue one complete. Uh, even if it did take me a hot minute to get everything set correctly to minimize stuttering, only a problem with Awakening, though, so I think. Nice! Glad to hear that you're having fun with it. Right now we're working on some transformation artwork for a friend to celebrate their rebranding. And uh, then after this, I'm going to be trying out a little bit of uh, what the gulp, I believe it's called. that as that part of the coat hmm. might be easier to try and use it somewhere else. I'm gonna grab lunch and do alert. Best of luck getting this to a state you're satisfied with. Always where I struggle with my own art. Hard to be satisfied with it sometimes. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, I wish you the best of luck with your artwork too, then. I think I'll have the fabric kind of like uh, climbing up a little bit, detaching and going upwards. this side having like detached totally. Thank you. 
Try and delete some of these layers as I go. Make things a little less complicated. I'm not gonna lie, there is a large part of me that's really looking forward to finishing this artwork. Not because I'm not having fun, or I want to be done with it, but purely because I know that when I do, then I will be able to draw some dragon donger. That's gonna be fun. This is the tail kind of just busting out of this fabric. Gonna bust out of here, see? It's very good. Let's see, this song that's currently playing is Super Mario World Arrangement OST. Welcome to Mario World. I do feel pretty welcomed to this world of Mario. Gotta say, it's doing its job. Probably got to change this a little bit though. Mm. 
It's time? Hmm? What's time?
Thank you for being gentle with me, Atlas. I've had plenty of head pets. I don't think I've had any, like, explicit horn or antler pets, though. That's a first, I guess. Brain, not on that layer, on this layer. Come on, Brain, you're, you're at least a little better than that. Seems a bit sensual to rub the horns, though. <laughs> See, you could not have possibly known this, or rather, it's pretty unlikely that you would have known this, but uh, because of a webcomic I read called uh, Girls with Horns, which is basically just like a, a urban fantasy kind of magical realism world where girls being born with horns is like an allegory for being a trans woman and the horns obviously being the allegory for the penis. So like, there's... It's a very small chance, I feel like, that you could have possibly known what you just said. <laughs> Uh, I feel like uh, you gotta, you gotta, gotta get to know me a little bit better first. Uh, buy me dinner at least, you know. Yeah, you know, that's that's a fair point. That's a fair point. Alright, well, I, I guess your place or mine. Either way, someone's buying a plane ticket. Alright, I'll stop now. Because if I keep talking, my mouth is gonna start writing checks that which will, would not allow me to cash. That's a very good point, Corkscrew. A very good point. Okay, so I, here the bangs are kind of going roughly just all towards the middle, a little bit maybe towards the left, or towards the right. So we're gonna have to switch the directions a bit, but for now I think we can just start smushing the bangs together a little bit more. excited because near the end of the month I'm going to be able to hang out with the human Sona of Maris again in person and I'd love to be able to have this pick done by them. It should be pretty doable. It should be pretty doable. I don't know any plans on, like, uh, re but I should also definitely have it ready before then. Okay, 
this out. It's got the, the face framing locks, but there's also these locks, so we're probably going to want to take some of this and put it in front of the dress. Rain's too far in the gutter at the moment. <laughs> well, uh, I hope you're at least making sure to wash your brain after it's been there. Like, you don't, you do not want gutter filth stuck in your brain. That's gonna, that's gonna get infected, I'm sure. I think it's probably a better way I can do the horns that won't require these lines. So might as well take them out then.
point.
自己一个孤独。I have no idea what this is. Oh, panel de pawn. Wait, panel de pawn DC? Panel de pawn game Hmm. Damn, I should try and find a way to play the other panel de pawn games. I really ended up liking the SNES version on the. on the, uh. The switch console. Seven symptoms of really This is Rhythm Heaven, a cafe song. Basically, be done with the line art, and I'll be able to switch over to the other thing we're doing today. Maybe it's possible.
Okay.
Practice English. Hmm. Never heard of that game before. Hmm. And all else fails, cheat. No shame in cheating, especially. Well, there's no shame in cheating off of yourself. There we go, I can say that. Hydrated. Excellent news.
very hydrated. Put some food. Oh, I'm not gonna tell. Something I remembered I need to do. Forgot that I uh... forgot I should update my throne address since I knew. Well, that's taken care of. Oh, dang it, I forgot I was gonna do the, um, that I was gonna do the apron, too. 
You know what, though? We've done enough for today, I think. We can give ourselves a break on this and switch over to the other thing we were gonna do. I've got no idea what this... Well, actually, no. I, I think I do faintly recall, kind of? I think this is a silly golf game. No, hold on. Excuse me? What? Can I... Can I... Can I leave? What? Why is it automatically full screen? Excuse me? You stop that. Never show me a full screen game. Straightforward, so okay, we got a bunch of cats. Okay. Okay. All right, so far this is pretty straightforward. Oh, we don't have a ball. Oh, we are doing the golf club. Okay. Yeah. Oh no! Sure. <laughs> oh, are we the house? Okay, we're the house. All right. <laughs> oh, this is... <laughs> this is... Oh, this is already so good. Home in one. This has some strong Katamari Damacy vibes to me. Oh, that was just the opening. Okay. Alright, I can get with this. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, ball. What are you doing here? The golf lab is closed. Wholesome joke. Uh, okay. Is this a stage? Oh, okay, it is. All right. Uh... <laughs> We're getting the hole in the one. Okay. I love that. <laughs> okay. Okay. I can get with this game. Okay, uh, what are these? Oh, we're a cat now, okay. Eh. 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 
Perfect. Uh, oh, do you want to join in the in the call, Silix? Oh. Oh, okay. You want to join in the call? I mean, we're bound to get at least one of these, right? Yeah. <laughs> Go this way first. Okay, we're the couch. Fair enough. Sure. Why not? We can be a couch. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh that was close. Okay, we're in office chair now. Oh, I'm gonna have to be careful. This one is not gonna stop moving. Ah, okay. I'll have oh no, no. We'll have fun. I hope that the zombies don't get you, but I feel like that's one of those games where that's inevitable, huh? Cheerio. Okay. Eh. 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 Fuck these boxes. Eh. 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 Yeah. Good show. Sorry, Bubble Bones. That time it was the game making the joke, not me. Oh, okay, okay. So we've got something very delicate. We can't... Ah, okay. Hmm. Oh, this is gonna be dangerous. This is gonna be dip. Can I just, like, yeet it, I wonder? Nope. Okay. Okay, let's let it roll a little bit. See if we can get past this. Okay. Yeah! Hey, we got an achievement for a hundred strokes. <laughs> oh, I needed a game like this. Okay, we're the box. Okay. Yeah. 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 What a good unboxing video. Oh. Okay, I don't know what that means. But... Oh. I did something. Oh. Okay. The checkpoint, I guess. Oh, okay. We're going uh, 3D now. Well, 2D now, but also 3D because of it. Oh! Okay, we are a spider ball. <laughs> uh, is that gonna be a thing? It is! Okay! Eh. Okay, sure! I've noticed, though... There is, like... Oh! Oh, okay. I didn't... I didn't realize that was a thing. Oh, they have multiple stages! I just wanted to see, like... Because I saw a toaster in this and a couple of others, so I'm wondering if it's, like, a thing to collect toaster thingies. Because look, like, it's over there, which would... Probably be a fairly difficult place to hit it. No, not oh no, not like that. I want it. Mm. Uh oh. Hey. 
There we go. That ought to do it. Excuse me, game. Come on, I got it fair and square. There we go. I just wanted the toast. I feel like that's got to be some kind of achievement, though. Uh-oh. There we go. Hmm. What's this? Hit the flag. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so far so good. Uh oh, I clicked out of the window. You passed out on me? Well, I'm glad to have you back. Oh, okay. It gives me. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, we gotta go over here and finish these. Par three. Yeah. I don't know, Horks, but I'm glad to have you back. Yeah! Hole in one! Hey, Tibby! Max power. Okay. Okay, so I'm only allowed to... Oh! That was good. So I'm only allowed to do max power on that one, I guess. Oh no. Oh no, there's wind. Yeah. Oh no, this is gonna be bad. Nope, nope, nope. Yes! Why do pillows like to drink mouth water? Uh, I don't know. Why do they like to drink mouth water? Okay, we're doing good still. Nope, we're not. Okay. I think we were pretty much right with these first two. Oh, I thought that was a joke. Oh, come on. There we go. Because they got really into Mysterious Girlfriend X? Whomst? Eat the sheep. Uh-oh. Shit, this sheep is dynamite. Oh, come on! No, 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 dang it, it got ahead. I'll let that one elude me for now, I guess. Get rid of the trees. Oh, okay, this is fun. Does it have to be, like, completely off the track? Or can it just be blown up? Yes, it has to be off the track. Ugh, okay. Dang it. Okay, we're gonna need to restart this thing. Oh, come on! There we go.
Yeah, there we go. What? <laughs> Am I just trying to knock them off? Okay, I guess. Sure, I'll take that. Alright, I feel like this is going to be giving it a lot of replay value, so let's just keep going for now. Oh, we are a blob. A sticky blob. Okay. Oh, thank you. I really enjoy your company, too. Okay, and now it's a bouncy ball. There we go. Oh, okay. Oh, whoops. Now I'll put that back down there, please. Yeah, we got one. You love us all, why don't you marry us all? In this economy? Are you kidding? See, I would bubble buns, but I am also trans, which, uh, as you may not, well, excuse me, what is this? Which, as you may well know, uh, means that it's a terrible place for me to be right now. Watch out. Oh. Hello, ball. Show me what you've got. Um, okay. Close. There we go. Nope. Oh, okay. We've got gravity. It's great in this economy it makes overall living expenses cheaper per partner you have. Hmm. Oh, we accept you as you are. Oh, thank you. Cow. Cowabunga. Thanks for the tip. Uh, okay. Annoyance. Oh, come on. There we go, gotcha. Is there more of these, or is it just the one? Oh no, there's more. Would love to join a massive site-wide Twitch polycule. Okay. Oh, we got the toaster, at least. There we go. Oh, come on. Uh, okay, that was closer than I thought it would be. There we go. Oh, okay, too much. There we go. Oh, those still get me. Score a goal.
Oh, what? That wasn't... Okay. Hmm. No. And I only get the one kit, I guess. Yeah, okay. That looks good. Oh, come on! Ha! <sighs> How do I do this, then? Like, these look good. Hmm. I'll give it one more shot. Maybe just put it to the left fan? I can try. No. With less power? That was weird. Okay. I'm confused about that, but okay, I guess. Tip one cat to win. Okay. Oh, that was easy. Soccer balls can be shot at any time. Okay, good to know. I mean, I can as I... I mean, I can, as I do have a few Kubernetes clusters. What are those? That sounds... Oh, oh okay. We gotta deal with these little punk-ass kids now. There we go. Trying to let it spin by me. And then straight through. Yes, yes. Football! Football! Fuck you kids, I'm out of here! <laughs> Get dunked on, children. Oh! Oh, we were so close. There we go. I... why shouldn't I? How have these children earned not being dunked on? Uh-oh. Okay. We're good. We're good. Yeah! Yeah, they should have done their homework. This is what they get for trying to skirt by on the athletic scholarship. Uh-oh, uh oh Oh, okay, okay, you little shitbirds. Nope. Oh, damn it. Hmm. 
Maybe I'll come back to it. Ah, uh, no, I have to. Uh, Decline. Okay, we got some good air. We got some good air. Yeah! Exactly, right? They earned that. Bunch of little rats. Why, yes, I'm, I'm a wonderful aunt. What made you ask? Hmm? What's this? Mm hmm? What? What? Okay, I guess we found some kind of secret? Okay, I should look around for coolers then. Like that one. Okay, one out of four. Oh, okay, I need to like... Ace all of these, I guess. Oh no. Okay. Let's see if we can figure this out before I uh, ruin my computer. <laughs> Eventually, law of large number. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Bad blue balls. Oh, okay, so I want to not let the blue balls in, but I do want to let the red balls in. Or the red ball in. No. There we go. Yes! I don't like the ones where I have to do par. There we go. Let's still make it, though. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Yeah! I was just going for the wall. I'll take it. Just curious how long it will go. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, is there any change yet? Okay, there is. Take it like a good jackalope. All right, uh, maybe if I go this way. No. It's this wall that's been a real struggle bus for me.
Oh, no. If I can get it over this wall, I'll be in better shape. Y'all have any ideas, chat? <laughs> I'm sort of at a loss as to how to get it over this. Oh! 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 <laughs> okay! Oh no, what? Come on, man! There we go. Okay, I I accidentally did a thing. I'll take that. Oh, we got a little palm tree. Cool, I guess. Again, really not sure what this does, but... Hmm, do I really want to... Go through all of these just for something that I don't really understand yet. Okay, let's see. Well, let's keep going for now instead. We don't have that much time left in stream anyway. Well, let's check this area out. Looks like a Mario thingy. Oh no, it's Flappy Bird. Yeah. What? What is this exclamation mark? Okay. Okay, so first I need to go down and pick up the little guy. Then take him up here. Ah, dang it. Oh, okay, so I just need to get the bubble. Oh, okay. That one made me clench up a little, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, okay. I can't go down. Okay. Can I go down this one? No. <laughs> oh, that one was. Uh oh, we got we got naughty you guys now. Okay, can I can I go down this one? No. Ooh, that was close. Wahoo! Uh oh. Uh 
Okay, this is this is a really cute set of levels to end off on. Uh oh. Let's see how far this comes. Okay, not too far. Oh dang it! <laughs> I launched myself into it. Uh oh. Ah, got that by a hair. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we got it. Donkey go. Oh. Thank you very much. Uh, was that say Cyber Cyrus VTuber? Welcome, welcome. How's it going? It's very nice to meet you. Golf Note 1. Golf is really boring. Maybe we can fix it? Oh, okay. We're Angry Birds now, I guess. We're getting there. Doing good? Heard about the Deadlands game? Can't wait to watch. Oh, awesome! Yeah, we're uh, we've got the. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. We've got our next session for that next Thursday, which, uh, if all goes well, will also be finally at long last. The group's first uh, combat. Yeah! But uh, you can see the first two episodes, at least. Technical issues, sadly included. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, I gotta kick the ball with this. Oh. Okay. Yeah! But yeah, there's some technical difficulties with the first couple of episodes that I'm hoping I'll have resolved by the time of uh, by the time of next Thursday. Yes. Are you a big fan of Deadlands? Okay, I'll take it. You a big fan of Deadlands yourself? I assume it's one of the more obscure games these days. Oh, wait, what am I saying? I started at 2. I'm going until 8. <laughs> okay. Well, welcome, welcome, sleepyhead, to the world of the waking. How's it going? Is this a mine? No, I guess it's not. Have you considered what you would like for, for, uh, okay. Okay, that's interesting. Can I hit this to, I can. Okay, there we go. That's how I do it. Uh, since we are going to be going to a dinner party tomorrow night, would you like to just order out a day early? I, I know, that's why I'm asking. Oh, uh oh, 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 okay, okay, we're still in control, we still got this. There we go. All right, uh, same deal as before, we're trying out a new local place. Ooh. 
Oh, uh, would it help if I said that wasn't a question that was in order? Just to make it so you don't have to make the choice? Oh, it, it wouldn't. Hmm. Normally that helps. Oh, thank you, Cat. You saved my life. Okay. Probably try and thread the needle here. We're doing good. We're doing good. There we go. We're almost there. There we go. Oh boy. You know what? Let's see what happens when we just do that first. Uh oh no! Okay. Oh, okay. That saved us. Oh, these rocks are not making it easy. And yeah, I, I'm now convinced with how many toasters I've seen. There's got to be some sort of like achievement for hitting every single toaster. There's no way there isn't. I would be absolutely flumpergasted if there wasn't. Fantastic. I couldn't have asked for a better thing to happen when I swung. Try and make sure he doesn't go off track. Uh oh, that might have been too hard. Okay, okay, no, we're good, we're good. Eh. Eh. Oh, okay. This is how it's gonna be. Oh god, it is. It is absolutely how it's gonna be. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> okay, okay. It's hard to be mad at a game this fucking silly, though. Oh, no. Can I make a request, dear, since I know that I at least am also getting hungry? Oh no! Oh come on, I barely grazed that one. Mexican tonight, okay? I want to at least make that. There's no new places for that. Uh, no, I, actually, I didn't remember. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, we can do this. Yes. It was Obsidia's character that brought me here. Nice. Yeah, I've... From what I've seen, Zenobia is definitely a fan favorite so far. But, you know, we've only just begun. Hopefully there will be... Okay, is it going to be the charging thing again? Oh, no. Uh oh Oh, okay. Uh... 
Okay. We made it. There's still plenty of time for, hopefully, uh, people to... Oh, nope. Wait, what? Cat? Tip five cats to win. Uh, okay. Hey, I was actually just trying to get to the door, though, because of this damn car. There we go. Ooh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Ah, damn it. Okay, yeah, it's just gonna be a full blast the whole time. Oh, dang it. Okay. Okay, full blast the whole time. Gotta be careful. Ah, damn it. Maybe I can just, like, go off entirely. Oh yeah, that that works much better. Okay. Uh-oh. 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 Pizza would also be an acceptable new thing for us to try. Dang it, I thought I had it that time. Mm. Yes, okay. <sighs> no. Same. Oh, we're opening an airlock, I think. Yep. Uh... Oh, okay. Are you fully in space? I... sure. Oh, we're gonna be dealing with gravitational pulls now. Okay, okay, okay. Man, this game has so much going on all the time. R. Uh-oh. Oh, this is gonna suck. Nope. Nope. No. Ah. I think that might be the way to do it, though. There we go. 
I figure I might as well try and get these ones just because, like, they're going to be more of a pain in the butt to get to. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh oh, a par. Oh, come on. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh no, the flag. <laughs> Oh no, I didn't realize this was a game set in the Richard and Mortimer Good Time Science Adventure Hour show. I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little... I feel a little sad about that. I've never been a fan of Richard and Mortimer's Good Time Science Adventure Hour. Not to say that, like, I'm judging anyone who is. Because, like, y'all are entitled to whatever you want to watch. There we go. Uh-oh. Hmm. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Oh, pish off. I'll wait until it goes and locks in place. Ah, close. No. Yeah, I, for some reason, I just don't really like saying Rick and Morty, so I don't. Yeah! Got it! Oh no, it's another car one. Come on, man. What, you mean Robert's Hamburgers? Yes, I, I'm familiar with Robert's Hamburgers. I, I would say I'm actually a fairly big fan of Robert's Hamburgers. 
that's a show that I can get behind. Some real quality programming. Oh, gosh. Now I gotta deal with... Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> sure. Where am I even? Oh. Oh! <laughs> okay, that one got me. I love when a family actually loves each other in a TV program. Right? I don't know why it's so freaking uncommon, but like, it's like it's not fun when a family is just like mindlessly hateful, you know? I don't know why. Oh, okay. There we go. You don't watch TV? To be fair, I, I don't really watch TV anymore either. What? Oh, okay. I, I have to absorb other... <laughs> okay. Well, this is fun. I am getting kind of hungry, though, dear. You think you'd be up to talking about... Uh, come on, get out of the way, Tyre. Excuse me, space whale. There we go. Okay. I used to fall asleep with Cartoon Network on 24-7, but then I could just boot up the VODs, or buy up the VODs from people's streams on my TV and never watched any channel ever again. Fair! Never been allowed to, and outside of when of where raised, I would never bother buying a TV. Those who had TV hogged it to themselves and never really bothered. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, it loots. Hmm. Yeah, thought that would work. Oh, we'll find Susser. Nice. Turn up some channels. Okay. 
Whoa. Hey. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cute. Coffee video. You want me to give you another massage later? Alright, I can do that. For now, I'm gonna go downstairs and get a packet. Okay. Please don't lock me. I don't plan on locking the door, so... Hmm. Hey, chat, do y'all want to help me decide what we're doing for dinner? Oh, that's not it. Okay. Ooh, this looks really good, actually. I hate the new heater. It keeps smelling like burning wax every time it runs. Mm, gross. Hey, can I get one of those trophies, maybe? No, okay. Sometimes you play golf and sometimes golf plays you. <sighs> Ain't that the truth, bud? Oh no. There we go. Hey, chat. Do you all want to help me make a decision? What is this? Hmm. I can't say I understand what it is, but it looks good.
All right. So these are all like very good looking foods from a couple of different places. Let me see. Let me make sure that this place is also good. Uh, this place looks to be more kind of like standard fare stuff. Not great. Probably do better, but... Don't eat this. All right, I'll set up the set it for five minutes. All right, I'm going to keep it simple. Just three options. Five minutes on the clock. Y'all are free to go. So far, we have three votes for Mexican. Pretty straightforward, it looks like. Looks like they're pretty clear about Mexican, and there are Mexican places nearby. There are. I said there weren't anyone new. What do you mean? Like, I've tried all of these, whether with you or not. Oh. Okay. Are any of them good? They aren't bad. You didn't choose a place. I know. I'm waiting for the poll. Oh. Is Barrio any good? That one I think you had. I, if I did, I don't remember it. I don't remember the last time I had Mex- Oh, that I had Mexican, period. Oh, dang, come on. I need to check to see if it was accidentally delivered to the other place. Uh. If so, we'll have to go out. What do you mean? The furniture? No. I also want to do that. No, it says it's here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's because it's, it's down. It's down by our mailbox, not the top. Oh yeah, it, 
we wouldn't be doing like a Taco Bell kind of place. Oh, it's a magic carpet. Hell yeah. Bowling. <laughs> Dang it, I missed. Okay. Yeah, bowling. Okay, we've got to get at least one of these bowling balls to the end. No! My bowling balls! I failed all of them! Okay, we're down to one. Seriously, it's that one? Oh my god. No! I had it! There we go. What did it say? I can't see. R4. Oh boy, this is gonna stink. Yep. Yep, it's Mexican. Arcade. Oh no, it's pinball. Maybe? What the heck is this, actually? Oh. Can you do me a favor? Sure, what? Can you make the punk flavor? Yeah. Oh, have you tried out your new tablet? I have not yet, no. I don't like this gravity. I ain't bothering with it. Maybe we haven't had Barrio, but it looks like it's... Hmm? I'm looking at Barrio. I, I don't know if... If it's... Yeah, it's just... Okay. You did it. Sports. Oh, big sport day coming up this Sunday. Oh, yeah. Hold 
Okay, Azul we have. Alright. Hmm. You're curious about the wind. Take it. Hmm. Yeah. Just fair. Oh, sorry, I misread that. Uh, the vote is for Mexican pizza. No. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the opinion. I'm going to have to respectfully say no. No, no, my. No, oh, no, you stop that, Mother Hubbard. God damn, where is this? There it is. Uh, the art's turning out pretty well so far. I've got the line art for the first three sections done. So there's still a ton to do, but... Uh-oh. Uh Ah. Oh, ah. Damn, boy, what them legs do, though. I'll hold it if I have to. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Nope. Not even close. Oh, okay, so I have to jump at that point, I think. Yeah. Okay.
Oh, okay, I'm not supposed to aim for this. Oh, okay, it's gonna be a long shot. What'd you get? So they had the unicorn and the monster in one of these. I just looked at the tag. There's one of him now in Humblebee. Hmm. I remember really liking a storm. So I can get that. A storm. Fine. You must have hit master delivery. Dang it. Keep clicking out of the window. Yeah, we'll have to try that place another time. Alright. If you can't find any other next no, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm just tweaking it. Okay. There you go. Okay. 
Have we had this before? Yeah. You know what barbacoa is? Hey, chat. Chat, do any of you know what barbacoa is? Mm. Oh, yes, but what is it? Dude, what? Stewed beef, okay. Yeah, that sounds okay. The order has been placified. Oh, it's my secret place. Chat, we have a secret place together. I agree, secret places are very cool. Okay. There we go.
what kind of secret place this again? It's been a while since I thought about secret places in Pokemon, so I can't really remember much in the way of specifics. Everything is Skulf. Oh no. Oh, like those secret bases. Yes, those were very good. I feel like it wasn't until, I want to say Platinum, that things really came together though when you had, hey, it's super hot! <laughs> when you had like the, uh, ah, damn it. When you had the underground where theoretically, if you were someone who actually had friends, you could like explore and hang out. Or you were like me and never had any friends, so you just had to explore the whole place yourself. Okay, that one got me. I only used my friends to get a Gengar that never that never played with them. Wow. Lucky you have friends? Hmm. There we go. Pacifist? Uh-oh. Oh, uh, that's gonna be trouble. Yes! All the band kids played Pokemon. Ah, oh, well, there you go. You had a- you had a built-in player network, I see. I, I was never talented enough to be a band student, so I had to settle for uh, being a choir student, which honestly kind of sucked because sure, that's also where all the people who enjoyed singing like I did hung out, but it also was where all of the really lazy people who just wanted the easy grade showed up. So like, I get to constantly deal with them talking and shit throughout. Ah, damn it. I don't know if I need to get this every time, but I feel like I should. Ah, damn it. What the heck was that shot? Ooh, that was close. Smooth as silk. Super hot. Super hot. Super hot. There must be another way. What does this mean? Am I trying to be pacifist? No, it didn't stop me. Oh, what's around this way? All right, gonna hop off. All right, have a great one. Thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Ooh, that was close. Oh, what the heck? What? It switched angles on me. That hardly seems fair.
Yeah, I think I got a lot of them. Probably not all of them, but hopefully enough. Oh, come on! I think I got all of them that time. Yes! God, that wasn't even the challenge. Ah! I didn't think they would be able to reload that fast. Damn. If they're gonna say that every time I'm leaving, I don't like hearing that. Ooh. Ah, damn it. Yeah. All right, Nauseen, have a good one. Ooh. Holy shit, that was smooth as hell. And no one will ever believe me. Super hot. What? This is a horror now. Oh, shoot, and that counts as sh Ah. Uh, I saw it, and I don't believe you. I that's okay, I don't either. Oh, 
What? Uh. Ah, damn it. Alright, hold on a second. I am actually getting kind of annoyed by the Whoa. I don't know. Ooh, ooh, how did I do that? Ooh. Okay. Super hooks. Nope. I'm not doing that in par. Fuck you, par. I hate... All my homies hate pars. It, pars are the worst. Hmm? Uh-oh. Oh no, we're... Oh no, we're in Portal World. I'm gonna have to think about shit. Port all, okay. Or is just a hoax invented by golfing aliens masquerading as humans? Single... Okay. What? I have to use them all? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I think. No. Okay, so I, I have to use all of these in one go. No. Hmm. There we go. Oh, we're back to spider. <laughs> Yes! You're right, Corkscrew. The game just confirmed it. Golf is a lie. Oh, no. Dang it. Tomato. What? 
Yeah, got it. No, I don't want to do that one again. I want to go here. Oh, I see now. There's like little arrows pointing to gravity. Well, okay. What? Uh... What is over here? Hmm. Okay, so then I go here. No. Hmm. I need to have a second box. Maybe I can get one in here? God damn it. Close window. Ah, there we go. There we go. We did it. Oh no. That wasn't too bad. Okay. There we go. We got there. You know, I never actually beat Portal legitimately. Because, like, I could not solve the puzzles. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. Oh, I see. There we go. I carried a friend in Portal 2 co-op, and they went on to tell everyone else I was bad at Portal 2. Have I played it on stream before? No, because I'm very bad at it, and I am ashamed. R is zero. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
what what does Well, I screwed myself there. There we go. I mean, Portal's a fairly short game. That might be doable. And I kind of want to try and see if I can finish out the rest of these levels. What? Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do the thing like you do in Port- I- I didn't do things in Portal, though. That's the issue. <laughs> there we go. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hit the flag. Oh no. Okay, well at, at least it's not one that has a limit.
There we go. Which means we should have enough now. Yeah, portal. Hmm? Oh, I can't go back that way? Oh, man. Oh, I gotta take the long way. Wait, wait, am I stuck? No, I'm not. Check you, computer. This is just entertaining. Oh. Okay, that was interesting. Hmm. There we go. Get fucked, computer. Get out of here, you gross computer. Hmm. Meet me. Meet me. That computer never washed its hands after using the restroom? Ugh. Thanks for letting me know. That's gross. Oh, what do we got this time? Oh no, we're toast. Oh, we better sop this up. I guess we can't. Okay. Oh, we're an egg. Okay. Okay, that was neat. Nope. Okay. I'll take it. Okay, 
was pretty easy. This feels like the sort of game that if it had come out a few years earlier, it would have, or a few years later, it would have had like Amoogus references in it, you know? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And I do not mean that as a negative thing. Yeah? Sure. It will be our B chat. I need to go feed Totoro. Oh, I'm back. Oops. Ah, Ah. Uh. Nope. I do not know how you're supposed to do this one. I guess, like, hit it into things, so... Oh, come on! There we go. So then it, like, will waste its fizz on something else. Oh, nope. Not doing that one on par. That fucking sucked. Yeah, what are you? I'm curious, that's all. Oh, I guess we're just gonna be bred for this. Okay. We're like an elf. We've been bred for this. Oh, first person. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, what is the par? Hello? Is, uh, game? Uh, hello? <laughs> Uh, okay, I guess I'll reload the game. That was weird. 
try that again. There we go. Where is that last word? Okay. Nope. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna suck. Yep, 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 that's what I thought was gonna happen! <laughs> okay. There we go. One more. Reach goal and don't hurt ass. Oh, dang it. Uh-oh. All right. I'll give these kind of levels three tries. Uh oh. Okay, that was the three tries. Oh, okay. GG. How am I supposed to do this part, I wonder? Oh, there's this, obviously. Oh! I didn't even see a ricochet that I did, but I'll take it. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. <laughs> okay, that one was that one got me. That was pretty funny. This feels mean. None shall stand. What have we here? Uh-oh, it's an invisible maze? 
Yep. What is this going to tell me? <laughs> Damn it, Gulp. Wait, can I, like, turn on this? Oh, I want to turn on... I want to... I want to game while I game. No, I can't. Nope, I don't want to do pars. If I can avoid it, I... Eh. Oh, I have to smack... Eh. <laughs> okay, I think that's the first time in a while we've actually done one. I would love to see what a speed run of this kind of game looks like. Eh. Oh no, oh no. Please. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Oh, hey, I'm a ball again. Uh oh, this is gonna this is gonna be something. All right, coming. I think we're gonna be switching over to a dinner break, y'all. Be right back. Thank you.
Ah, uh, here's some. Since I'm going to need both hands to eat this, I'm going to switch us over to a video and probably have that be the last thing we end up doing uh, before we call it a night. Uh, chat, would you rather see something about Elden Ring or something about D&D? &D? D and D. All right. Let's see. No, I said pause that. Humans, it's me, Antonio D'Amico. This is Pointy Hat, and welcome to D and D with a Twist. You guessed it. This is the show where I peruse the D and D catalog and choose one of their twisted little thingies. Not this, not this. Oh, definitely not this. Aha! I look at it, tell you about it, and then I give it a new twist that you can then take for free and use in your game. So when I think of halflings, I think of gentlemen. We do not stop till nightfall. What about breakfast? We've already had it. We've had one yet. What about second breakfast? Halfling is the race for stoners and people with cottagecore Pinterest boards. Halflings are three feet tall kings that look inconsistent. We have a tieflings can't be purple situation on our hands here. Halflings are supposed to have completely normal human proportions. Their sizes uh -huh. are shrunk down like someone hit the transform button in Photoshop. But they are often described and drawn as having slightly cartoonier proportions with larger hands, feet, and heads. This one is clearly the superior option. And sometimes they are drawn as these bobble-headed ass abominations with those little doll hands people use as a gag online. And these little feeties. I, I got the barbacoa burrito. It's very good. For this that was then sent to a poor, unsuspecting artist deserves jail time. Okay, so what else? What else? Um, they can't grow beards, so we don't confuse them with dwarves. Sometimes they're depicted barefoot. Sometimes and um, okay, fine. Yeah, I'll say it. Halflings are hobbits. They are just just hobbits. Yep. That's it. Halfling is just Wizards of the Coast way to tiptoe around the Tolkien estate banhammer by making a thing that is as close to hobbits without actually calling it a hobbit. Halflings are short because hobbits are short. Halflings are good at hiding because hobbits are good at hiding. Halflings enjoy simple comforts and spend their days smoking and tending to cottagecore aesthetics laws because that's what hobbits did. Hell, Halfling's luck is just a clear reference to the amount of times that Bilbo is impossibly lucky throughout the Hobbit books. Oh. That thing. They can give us as many bubble-headed abominations from hell as they want. If you look at first and second edition illustrations, they gave them big furry feet and yeah. walking around barefoot. I'm sure someone it's literally just me on it and please literally like just hobbits. Like, comment, and subscribe. Fight me. But I don't see how you could fight this. They were literally called hobbits in the first editions of the game until the Tolkien estate, which is notoriously sue happy, told them to stop it. So wizards just changed the name. Interesting how wizards fought corporate greed by skirting around copyright laws. I just, I find that funny. Some might say it's ironic. Anyway, side note, apparently the Tolkien estate wanted them to also remove the words dragon and elf because they consider those there too. What? Got some numbing cream after that massive f***ing stretch. So, okay, good vibes only, little guys. We get it. We've got the basics out of the way. Let's dive deeper into what we know about half. So I've alluded to it a bunch, but halfling society and culture really revolves around vibing. They're sort of, or give the term, Hufflepuff coded. Halflings care a whole lot about being comfortable at all times, constantly, forever, and are fans of the simple things in life, like good snacks and getting blitzed to high heaven <laughs> off of the halfling equivalent of catnip. They 
don't see martial prowess and military strength as anything even worth aspiring to, and when conflict arises, we go straight to diplomacy. This no bombers, good vibes only, hippie-esque mode of government has resulted in pretty much every race being happy barrels. You really gotta go out of your way to make these guys dislike you. In terms of morals, they care a whole lot about hospitality, which is why your DM will always default to a halfling when describing a tavern keeper in a panic because they thought you would go to the castle first and now you guys want to get shot. But they're also all about community and family, caring a lot about their familial units, neighborhoods, towns, etc. Now you might be thinking, these guys sound very sweet and nice. You might also be thinking, this sounds boring and like a race that was basically made to be NPCs, and both of those are sort of correct. To kind of offset that second one, people need to play these after all, one of their defining traits other than their rustic charm, lull of hallucinisms, and very punchable size, is the halfling's wonderlust and slyness. Some halflings will start to wonder what's on the other side of the cottagecore hills in the Drinkle Bottom Shire or whatever awful Beatrix Potter ass name you gave their town. Hey! Experience this, but it's common enough for them to have a name to it. Halflings call this having fancy feet, and those halflings with the fanciest of feet will experience this innate curiosity and need to see new things and find new stuff, and then go back to Drinkle Bottom Shire. I think that's the working title, and tell mommy and poppy and granny and grandpappy and their 50 siblings all about their travels. This wonderlust, along with a halfling's proclivity to use charm to hide their true intentions and get out of trouble scot-free, make them a better fit for adventuring. Even though I can assure you you will find them more as NPCs at inns and taverns than anything else. That's sort of uh -huh. the catch with making them so lucky that they basically avoided most conflict in their history. Yes, I referred to this before, but halflings are lucky. Extraordinarily so. Supernaturally so. Halfling luck is literally a racial feature. A halfling when stealing and alerted the lookout after making a noise. A cat will scream at just the right time to distract them. A horde on their way to war passes through a halfling village. They conveniently happen to miss all the paths that lead to the village. Caught by the guard after sneaking somewhere to find some important documents. The guard just happens to have a thing for sword kings. It's supernatural <laughs> because it's literally a gift from God. Yondala, the patron deity of halflings and of hair extensions apparently. Gifted them their luck. She felt that halflings were not particularly strong, nor magical, nor dexterous, nor smart. Okay, okay, we get it, lady. Gee, don't I wish you could maybe be kinder? Anyway, she was worried about how halflings would survive in a world full of creatures and people that could squish them down without a second thought. So she gave That's them fair. luck. It's literally a survival mechanism for the race. In a very interesting twist, it has been said that their luck is the reason why halflings are so laid back and all about staying home and eating snacks. As a race, they just haven't had much misfortune, other than that one time where the different tribes fought each other when the emo cousins decided to worship a furry god of evil. We'll get to it, don't worry. It's pretty easy to be all about good vibes only when you literally have divine luck protecting you from the consequences of your actions. I feel that. There just hasn't been much of a need for halfling culture to ever develop a military or, you know, the concept of anxiety. So lucky them. Must be nice. Okay, we got it. Halflings are hobbits with a twist. How fitting for this show. We've covered what halflings are, what they are about, and we've talked about how luck is literally a racial ability for them. So how about we take a look at those abilities? If you decide to make your very own little mousy boy and you use racial ability scores, your dex increases by two. You are one of the small races, which means you are just plain worse than medium creatures. Mm -hmm. Great. Your speed is 25, and believe me, those five feet will make a difference and will be annoying. This is somewhat mitigated by halflings getting some pretty nifty racial abilities. The first one being... Nifty. They may only have 25 feet, but they're all very large. Large feet. That includes medium creatures. It won't offset the five feet of speed loss, but it will somewhat mitigate it. Brave makes it so that you have advantage on saving throws against being frightened, symbolizing halflings being constantly chill about everything and their immunity to anxiety. And finally, their trademark racial ability, lucky. Halflings' divine gift of luck translates into, in my opinion, one of the most powerful abilities mm -hmm. in the game. Mm -hmm. Be careful of who you make fun in high school. When you roll a Absolutely. one attack, saving throw or ability check, so all rolls using a d20, you roll again. What, are you waiting for me to say you get to use this a next number of times? No, you always get this every yep. time. You, you cannot critically it's fail. It's really, you really can never critically you fail those. Than the lucky feed, since this one has unlimited uses. But if you take both, you can basically say goodbye to ever rolling critical failures. I heard some DMs ban this along with the lucky feed and like, whatever, man. You do you, but if you're that afraid of someone succeeding at a check, maybe don't fall for it? Honestly, yeah. halflings and gnomes are already hard to tell apart and have a sort of shaky identity as distinct races, so taking away the one defining feature of halflings seems like a shame to me. So yeah, those are the halflings' basic features. But let's see what sub-races have in store for us. First off, Lightfoot Halflings. These are halflings. Everything I've said before applies to them. They are the vanilla-esque version of halflings. 
Lightfoots tend to develop wanderlust more than other halflings and are also the most likely out of all of them to live among other races. Halflings are already likely to do that, so Lightfoots are just super likely, I guess. This is translated by one to charisma and their trademark ability is naturally stealthy, which allows you to hide if you're obscured by a creature that is one size larger than you, so medium creatures count. <coughs> this is sort of cute, like hiding behind your yeah. and stuff. And that's it. Honestly, this one sure is basic. Moving on. Stout halflings are short. They are described as shorter and thicker than your average halfling, some real compact boys here since a regular halfling is creepy tall. Honestly, most if not all halfling subreaches are very uninspired in terms of looks. It's not enough that gnomes and halflings are hard to tell apart. Apparently, we also need to make all different types of halflings virtually indistinguishable from each other too. For what it's worth, stout halflings tend to resemble dwarfs more than your regular halflings, being all about crafting rather than just vibing. They don't get beards though, presumably so you can actually tell them apart from dwarves. This dwarf vibe is even alluded to in Unicorns, with scholars speculating that stout halflings have dwarven ancestry. It also translates to the subrace ability Stout Resilience, which gives you advantage on saving throws against poison and resistance to poison damage, just like dwarves. It's not bad. Boring, but pretty good. Moving on to the weirder cousins we have, the Ghost Wife Halflings. And these continue the tradition of halflings looking mm, excuse all me, excuse basically me, excuse the same. Me. These guys are like free-dwelling emo siblings of the halfling family, having a much less friendly, more Tarzan-esque vibe to them. They don't experience wanderlust as much as the other halflings and would much rather prefer to stay in their woods and not talk to outsiders. They don't talk at all to anyone, actually, since they are under a vow of silence. One of the only conflicts that halflings ever had was actually a sort of civil war. The good halflings decided it would be fun to worship a dark furry deity, which of course instructed them to destroy all other halflings. Lightfoots and Stouts banded together and fought back and embarrassed the Ghostwise halflings so thoroughly that they made a vow of silence until they could repent for their dark furry crimes. And they stayed their dark and furry and crimes! Some crimes can never be forgiven. They found a loophole though and now they have telepathy. Their ability silent speech allows them to communicate telepathically with anyone they share a language with. I guess it doesn't count as talking if you do it in your brain. And finally we gotta talk about the Kender. <gasps> Got real scared there. <laughs> Fun fact. My character for the Sunday campaign, which if you wanna check <clears throat> if you wanna check out, it'll be this Sunday at six PM EST over on Lytro the Bronze's channel. We'll give him a quick shout out. Uh, over there, I play a de Hampir sub raced character where uh, her father was a Kender and her mother was an orc. And she is sort of in between. So if you want to see a, a little bit of that, uh, that's uh, this Sunday at 6 p.m. over on Lytro's channel. Check it out. They are not halflings, but they are not not halflings. Weirdly enough, in the 5e release, they are associated with gnomes? I could have sworn they were connected with halflings. Anyway, who cares? Not me. They come from the Dragonlands books, which just came back to 5e. Rejoice, people that care. In the world of Kryn, the Kender sort of take the... The world of Kryn, more like, hey -o! ...most hated D&D race of all time. Yep, more than Chabaxi for people with a weird obsession with hating fairies, more than Arakokra with their flying, people hate Kender the most, and... Honestly, kind of for a good reason. They are literally described in text as annoying and widely disliked in their own setting. While halflings are curious and have the whole wanderlust and need for new experiences, the Kender kind of take that and turn it into the most annoying version of those traits. They are described as acting very childishly, even as adults. They have short attention spans, constantly moving from one interest to another and not being able to stay on a task for very long. They act on impulse and are not very into making or following careful plans. You can see how this can get me. Yeah. But what made the Kender so hated was their loose interpretation of personal property dude in that they don't really hmm? believe in it. That dude has whole just lot take whatever they feel I saw. Like okay. They don't that's weird. See it yeah, that is weird. The moment they just felt like taking something and then they did it. To quote the text on the original incarnation, Kender appropriate and mm -hmm. catches their eye. Physical boundaries or notions of privacy are both alien concepts to them. Kender are never happier than when their hands are in the pockets, pouches, or backpacks of those around them. So, yeah, I wonder why these guys were not popular. <laughs> Since they have released new Dragonlance content, the Kender have made their way to 5e. In the first Earth Arcana for them, they could, like, summon stuff? That was a pretty cool ability, I thought. Alatoraimon? 
I wish they had kept that. Since changed this, and now they are all about their taunt ability, which incentivizes the enemy to hit you repeatedly. Great tanking ability. Exactly. A punchable little beast. Real talk here. I think it's a bad idea to give anyone an in lore excuse to act shitty to others during the game. But I am sad that the killer kind of ruined the whole giving a racial option a negative trait. If the trait doesn't incentivize <coughs> toxic behavior and the group has agreed on it and are cool with it, I think it could be extremely fun to give your character negative traits or abilities. Oh god, this is foreshadowing. Oh no. So we've looked at halfling culture, their history, their abilities, the different kinds, and that's all well and good. But what if we gave halflings? A new twist. So you want to play a halfling? <laughs> are sly short king hippies that get typecast as thieves when in reality they are just way too busy being fantasy stoners okay time for me to be real with y'all and say what i actually think of these little guys i find halflings a bit uninspired i see mm. the niche they fill small little fantasy guys and all it's very much a genre statement which is why it's strange to me that we have gnomes on top of that yeah you know and feel that is that is pretty weird it becomes particularly hard to tell them apart like did we really need two of the same guy with the slightest of changes i understand the lore is different gnomes being more closely tied to the fate but in practice they end up feeling so similar that i would honestly kick one out and keep the other it really really doesn't help that halfling racial options feel so samey it's mm. not only hard to tell no and halflings apart it's also hard to tell halflings apart from each other not a single one of them has a distinct look to them which is just not the case with other races sun elves look different from moon elves or from drow but halflings one is slightly chunkier than the other don't get me wrong i like the idea of a fantasy race of chill dudes that love to vibe but i wonder if the race would be as popular if it wasn't for them being you know hobbits with the serial numbers filed off not like it's particularly popular it's one of the least popular core races Really? Or being gnomes, which, as I said, I'm not surprised. There is something, however, that I find really interesting about halflings. Who's Willow again? Been hinting at it throughout the video. I think that the halfling saving grace is their luck, and I'm interested in exploring that further. Think about it. It's a race of people that are naturally luckier than anyone else, and the source of this is divine in nature, a gift from God. They rely on it as an actual survival mechanism. It's their way of staying alive. It has literally shaped halfling history and their civilization, allowing them to just vibe. Oh yeah. Out in their Wait, is she? If luck has had such wide and deep consequences for the halfling race what would happen if they lost it what would happen if instead of being gifted with good luck they were cursed with bad luck uh -oh. let's do it nobody knows what jinxes did to deserve their fate some say that oh no a halfling that broke all laws of hospitality and was forever cursed by yondala's children so oh no created to make up for the lucky halfling so that the cosmic scale of fate remains in balance Whatever the case may be, the reality is that jinxes naturally attract misfortune wherever they go. Oh no! <laughs> that is really what a jinx does to try to offset their fate. They are constantly followed by a streak of bad luck. A jinx attending any function will ensure that it will rain on that day. A wagon will mysteriously break down if a jinx is traveling on it. Hosting a jinx under your roof will lead to rats finding their way into your pantry and a leak to form in your roof. This series of mishaps has influenced the way that jinxes go through life completely. There is no jinx society, as any concentration of jinxes in the same place tends to have terrible consequences for anyone around. Oh no, this is so sad already! Generally frowned upon even among jinxes to form a relationship with another jinx, and children leave their parents behind in their teens when their bad luck starts to manifest. They are naturally nomadic, not just not- <laughs> Oh no, this is so sad! Long, ...but also because they are simply not welcomed by others anywhere, and for, regrettably, good reason. The Jinx's distinctive looks make it all the easier for them to be spotted and shunned by members of a community. They stand around three feet tall, like other halflings, but that's where the similarities end. Their skin and hair come only in shades of grey, black or stark white, mm. as if color had been sapped from them along with their luck. The dark rings around their eyes seem to be indelible, no matter how much sleep they get, and the tips of their fingers are always slightly darker than the rest of their skin, as if their bad looks painted them. Faced with this unfortunate existence, Jinx go through life in many different ways. Since they are nomadic by necessity, 
Big Charizard. As it's one of the few positions that can actually benefit from bad luck. After all, the Jinx's misfortune can just as easily affect those the Jinx's. Oh. Some Jinxes decide to rebel against their cruel fate and try to find a way to free themselves and their brethren from their curse in their travels, keeping a happy and positive attitude even in the face of constant misfortune. Oh. Some others, however, embrace their bad luck and see it as a gift. There are whispers of guilds of Jinxes that disguise their members and send them to the houses of their targets. They gain employment as servants or be oh. invited as guests, and then. They just need to stay there long enough for their natural gift to do its work. Oh. The string of bad luck will soon follow and fall upon the house they have infiltrated. It is said that countless business magnates, athletes, actors, and singers have had their careers ruined by a jealous rival hiring the services of a jinx skill. Imagine playing a jinx cinnamon role that absolutely <laughs> just to let their awful luck get them down. Constantly looking for a silver lining and keeping a smile on their face while they search for a cure for their curse. Maybe their arc is about coming to terms with their toxic positivity and finding a healthy balance. It certainly gives you a very personal mm. quest that your DM can build upon. How about a little raccoon goblin man of a face <laughs> that revels in the effects of the bad luck they inflict on others because he's always been treated like absolute trash for something he has no control over. Maybe his arc could be about changing oh. his trust again after finding a group of party members that accept him and don't blame him for his misfortune. Those are cool characters, I think. It's just a shame that you will have to come up with them. Make a whole bunch of possible strokes of bad luck. Come up with the mechanics of how their bad luck manifests in order to make it fun for the table. Their racial abilities and so on. Fortunately, you don't have to do hey! Please pretend to be surprised in the comments. I know that you know that I do this in every video. Pretend you didn't know it was coming for me. That's right. The Jinx race is 100% free for you to use and you can find it in the description of this very video. I wrote it and illustrated it myself. Just look at these sad little guys. Oh. It's like they are genetically engineered to be woozy. And I hope you like them. They come with a huge table of possible Ooh. effects for your map, but also a way for you to use it in your favor. You'll see. Just head down to the description and check it out. I'm going to have to and check this you out. Did it. You made it. A little disclaimer before you go, because of the mechanics inherent in the Jinx, you gotta check with your group before using them in your game. Of course. Not just your DM, but also the other players. I'm a big fan of characters with setbacks. I think they can be great fun, but it can only be fun if everybody is in on it. I'll add a little baby disclaimer to the doc in case people have left before getting to this part and are already typing in the comments about how this is unfair. If you did stick around, thank you. You're the best. YouTube really cares if people watch the video all the way through, so thank you for doing that. Anyway, that's quite enough rambling. I gotta go. Don't break your mirror. Don't open umbrellas indoors. Don't whistle at night. I have no idea how many of these are regional and won't make sense to any of you. Enough. Enough. Bye. Love you. Mwah. And on that note, uh, Francisco, would you mind going ahead to set up? Here we go. <sighs> Thank you all so much for keeping me company today. I feel very proud of the work we've gotten done on the on the big art project so far. And you know what? I've been having a lot of fun with What the Golf, too. So, yeah, thank you all. I'm going to start looking for a raid target. Could I please have someone give me a exclamation point socials? Thank you. All right, the first link there is the Discord if you want to hang out and get to know me or any of the other amazing people in the community, then I hope you'll do so over there. Uh, then we got the Twitter. I post memes, artwork, tea, uh, tea, I was gonna say tabletop. I think that is actually kind of fun, tabletop. Uh, no, I, tabletop. And my schedule, that all goes over there. And uh, yeah, that's Twitter. And then YouTube, where I quit my VODs when I remember I should probably put my VODs somewhere. Okay. Alright. Uh, so, we're not streaming Saturday. I can mark that day off. We're not doing anything then. But, we will be streaming on Sunday. Again, Sunday, 6pm EST for the over on Lytro the Bronze's channel 
for the uh, D&D in space. Space, space, space. This week we're gonna meet a giant five-headed dragonborn, so that's pretty cool. And I might be able to start my clothing line. That'd also be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, that again will be Sunday 6 p.m. EST. All right, let's see who do we want to raid. Okay, this person isn't on anymore. Okay, we can't do them. Hmm. Chat, would you like to see Pathologic 2? Uh, Hyperlight Drifter? Or Hades? Which of those games would y'all like to see? Also, uh, I, I don't know if you were there last night, but I, I actually met Soph. Well, I swung by and found her channel. She seems pretty cool. Looking forward to seeing more of her art. Pathologic? Alrighty dighty. We are going to be heading over to Pathologic 2. I have no idea what this game is or what it's about. It looks like some kind of maybe like kind of fantasy-ish survival sim based in based around like surviving a disease or something it looks interesting though so oh, we're gonna be raiding lucky and julian if you're coming along for the raid here are some raid messages you can use take the first one there if you want to show off or if you want to show up but you don't have a subscription. Take the second one if you want to show off some subscriber emotes. And uh, again, thank you all for hanging out with me today. It means a lot to me. Let me give you all a hug. <laughs> Smooch if you prefer. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Hopefully, I'll be able to see you uh, Sunday at 6 p.m. for some D&D &D over on Lytro's channel. But if I don't, maybe I'll see you on Discord or Twitter. Or when we start streaming again next week, Monday at 2. But for now, uh, whether it be Sunday, Monday, or sometime else, take care of yourself until I get to see you again, because some bunny really cares about you. That's me. Alright. I love you. Goodbye! Bye, bye, bye.